we know that along with B.J. Raymond and C.J. Anderson graduating, Xavier's lone recruit for next year, shooting guard Kevin Parham, did get a full release from his letter of intent to Xavier after the Miller departure and after a long discussion with Coach Mack this week. The big question, however, comes down to Derek Brown. Charles Dixon did catch up with Derek, however, to figure out what he's up to. How do you feel the past season for Xavier went? It was, it was a successful season. Um, people didn't think we were done as well as we did, I don't think. But when we are inside our locker room, we felt like we, we had a good, good enough team to, to make it to where we made it. Um, mm -hmm. It's disappointing how we ended. But uh, like I said, you know, some things, everything happened for a reason. But uh, I wish we would have made it to Elite Eight like we did the year before. But. Does that Pittsburgh game still dwell on you? Like, do you still think about what happened? Because watching the game, a lot of people thought y'all dominated the first half, probably three quarters of the game, and then the end it just yeah. went I to. I mean, it's definitely hard, you know, losing like that, you know. Of course, you know, we had the game one. We, we lost it ourselves, to be honest with you, you know. But uh, if we continue to, like, think about that every day, then we won't be able to move forward. So. Um, I, had, I had a great time. I love all my teammates to death, and uh, I think we had a great year. I know a critical play a lot of people think. Do you think you were out when you ran for that ball? Oh, no, nah, man. I, I don't think. I, I'm sure after a scene. I haven't watched the game. I won't watch it. You won't watch it. Yeah, but, you know, I, they said I was out. So I, all I can say is I was out. I, I, was, I was mad. I wish I, I wish I could have done it again. I promise I, promise I wouldn't have gone out. Oh, but, hey, you can't control that. Do you think Xavier's capable of getting back to how where they were this year or even farther? I do. I do. I mean, we got a, a great team. Got we I mean, losing BJ and CJ, but at the same time, if we have a great nucleus and people stepping up, you know, and that's 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 the the great thing about college basketball. You know, on paper it could be one thing, but like I said, we have our own expectations. With the coach chains, is that a reason why you entered the draft? Um. Part, not not really a small small reason, but not 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 too big. And like I said, I'm graduating in May. You know, um, when you come to college, that's all you can ask for is to get a degree, and that's I've I've done that. I accomplished that. So, like the track record of like people going to the NBA and not doing too well, and then going falling back and going back to European league. Do you think you can go to the NBA and stay there and have like an impending mark like James Posey or David West and stuff like that? Well, definitely. I mean, you got to have high goals, you know. Um, I feel like I put myself in a, in a position to, to do well, you know. When I came to school, I probably didn't think this would happen, to be honest with you, you know. I, I, didn't, I got a scholarship. I was happy to get that. So I'm not content on just making it there. I do want to stay there and uh, contribute to a team, and I think I can. They were saying you were projected first round 15 the last time when I checked during the summer. Uh, this year, you're not even projected to get drafted. Um, even though I've looked, like, how does that how does that feel when you were looking into the draft? Did you see that you were projected, or were you projected? Am I wrong? Uh, if I wasn't projected, trust me, I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't have made a decision. You know, um, mm -hmm. earlier in the season, and, and like like I said, those are opinions. You know, of people who honestly aren't in the inside, you know, if I didn't get good feedback, which I have, I, I want you to know that I have got great feedback on where I could go and things like that. So it's an educated decision. I'm not just doing this just to, I mean, anybody would be dumb if they weren't going to get drafted to enter the draft, you know? So that's, a, I believe, a complete false statement. But um, like I said, I can't control what other people say or, you know, I just live my life, do, do the things as best of my ability, and um, I feel like if I do that, things will take care of itself. Is there any way you can give us the secret information? Is that, I mean... That what they say that you got from the inside? I mean, the draft? like I said, like right now, my, my goal is to get in the first round of the, of the draft, and, and that's very probable, and it can happen. Um, mm -hmm. if, I didn't, if I didn't feel like that would happen or it couldn't happen, then I wouldn't have entered my name in the draft. I mean, mm -hmm. simple as that. I mean, I'm a smart guy. I'll make decent decisions, and... You know, for me to not be able to get drafted would be a dumb decision if I entered the draft. Right, I'm, I've seen some comparisons. I, the funny one, the funny one that I think that they they compared you to Robert Corey. Mm. That they, they they say you guys got the same type of game. How does it feel to have that kind of comparison? Um, I mean, he's an NBA veteran. You know, I mean, he's been in the league like 15 years. He's got like five rings. rings, six rings. I mean. 
like I said, I can't control what other people say. You know, mm -hmm. that's other people's opinions. And um, we'll see. Thank you, Derek. I'm Charles Dixon, Xavier News on the Musket.